for it. Steph, uh, decision day match coming up on Saturday. Uh, just what are your initial impressions on uh, St. Louis and the game coming up? Yeah, obviously they had a great season. Um, you know, they, I think they took it as fuel uh, coming in as a, an expansion team and, uh, and a lot of the pundits riding them off and expecting them to have a rough, rough year. And uh, they really utilized that. Um, put together a decent squad, I think, with a, with a solid core, starting with their goalkeeper, who I think has been fantastic. Um, you know, and then uh, sprinkling in some, some, some really high quality stuff with, uh, with Leuven and obviously up top, they, they were finding themselves on some good runs, with some confident runs of individuals, Sam, Sam chipping in, but obviously the Brazilian guy up top as well, doing, doing quite well, so um, um, Klaus, um, so yeah, they, you know, they, they've had a good, good season and that's, that's why they ended up where they, where they are and uh, it's going to be a difficult match. You mentioned Berkey, in, in watching him, what does he do so well um, in goal that's going to give your, your uh, attack some issues? Uh, I mean, if, for us, well, what's tough is he's a good shot stopper. Obviously, that's first and foremost thing for you to be successful as a goalkeeper. You're a good, good shot stopper. You're a goalkeeper, um, and I think that's why he had an incredible career in Europe for a long, long time. Um, so that, that that makes it tough for the opponent. I think on the other hand, uh, his his he's got so much experience. He's so calm. I think that 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 calmness really. Uh, Goes uh, goes through the whole squad when you see a guy in the back be, be like that. So um, yeah, I mean, wonderful addition for them. In the past few years, you guys have made some trips to new new soccer specific stadiums. Um, St. Louis first trip there. Um, is, is there still a little bit of excitement going to a, a new you know stadium that's just soccer specific here in America? Like, Absolutely. Like St. Louis? Yeah, and you know, and St. Louis has 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 taken a lot of pride in saying that they're soccer city in in the U.S. and uh, from what I've seen on, on the telly, you know, they have a really, really good supporters. And so I'm excited to, to, to feel that, you know. Um, for me, Nashville was the first time I was able to play at that that place, even though it's been around for a while, um, like three years now, I think. Um, but, but this year was my first time playing there. Austin this year was my first time playing there. I've been there a couple of times, but just as a spectator. So it's always a pleasure when you get to go to these, uh, I mean, these, uh, yeah, these, these are, these are, they're not just stadiums. I think they're a testament to how the sport is growing in this country, um, and it's really nice to see technology move along and see how how new things are implemented. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. It's a, it's a it's a it's an honor. It's a pleasure to be able to do that. Do you have any sort of relationship with uh, Berkey? Like, have you ever met him? Have you talked to him? No, just after the the game we had, um, you know, got had the practice match with German a little bit, which is awesome. But uh, surprised. Uh, He's, maybe he's lying, but apparently he knew of me, so uh, I, I went home and told my wife, do you know who I was? <laughs> um, no, but uh, obviously I, I, I grew up, um, you know, watching the Bundesliga as a kid, and that was always my league. I was a, I've always been a, a huge Bayern Munich fan, um, so obviously he played for the wrong team there, but um, I'm well aware of, uh, of uh, like I said, his, how incredible a career he's had um, and continues to have. So I have the utmost respect, and it's, it's, a, it's really nice when you see some fellow Swiss uh, um, people come into the league and, and, and develop. You had mentioned a couple of weeks ago that you thought he had a good shout or a legitimate shout for league MVP. Yeah. Uh, do you feel like that's that he's even in the conversation? It does something for the sort of the goalkeepers union? No, I, I think he should be. I, I honestly I think goalkeepers get pushed into the goalkeeper of the year uh, bracket. Uh, and then uh, they're forget forgotten as, as, as players. <laughs> and they don't ever get a chance to enter that conversation of MVP. But if you look what they've been able to do, I think he is, he's, he's the biggest reason why they've been able to do it. Um, and especially, you know, after I think they had a super hot start and then started, you know, having to do a little bit of soul searching. I was, I was not in a locker room, I have no idea. But again, a guy who has that kind of experience, uh, uh, leadership and, and vet veteran, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he had a huge part in, in making sure that they found themselves again. Um, so eh, it frustrates me when when they say, "Oh, you got goalkeeper, you got goalkeeper of the tournament, or you got goalkeeper of the year." But uh, that that that's where it ends for goalkeepers. No, we're we're players. We're part of the eleven. We we put it in just like anybody else. I'd argue we put it in harder during the week um, in training. But um, uh, yeah, I think he, he he should be considered for sure. Last couple for stuff. Do you take any, uh, you know, this, they're going for a expansion team record for points in a season. Is that something that you guys have any 
interest in spoiling in particular, or is this just we gotta you're totally focused on doing your own thing? No, well, I honestly wasn't wasn't even aware of it. I know they've had a good year. I didn't know what the records were with that. I think it's good to see. Um, you know, I mean, I, I obviously my connection with the Sounders. Uh, I joined the, the league in '09, and that was the first first year in the Sounders uh, when when the Sounders entered MLS, and and I think I was able to see, you know, that how well that expansion did. And I think from that point on, everybody tried to 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 copy that success and uh, and, and surpass it. And, and as of late, there's been good expansion teams that have come in and it's done quite well. Uh, and that's what you need, you know. You you don't want new teams to come in and and uh, I mean, you, you give them a bit of grace period. It's difficult. It's difficult to come in. Um, but you don't want them to be uh, bottom dwellers for you know, three, four, five years. You know, you want them to to uh, keep the sport grow, keep keep helping the sport grow. I mean, there's a reason why um, we needed a team in St. Louis, uh, or they thought it feasible to have a team in St. Louis. So there needs to be a good product in the field, a successful product, uh, and that, that will make it good off the field as well. So um, it's good. Um, I'm happy to see see it because it helps the sport grow in the sleep.